So, hello, I'm Stacey Whitlock here for Lawless, and I'm talking to the absolutely fabulous Lee Gallagher. Hello, Lee. Hey, well, good to see you. No, I was just thought I've never done this before with like faces, not just audio. So, it's yeah. a beautiful and rare treat to see you, gorgeous. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Ages. I actually can't remember the last time I saw you. God, that's awful, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it was probably at your wedding. No. Oh, it might have been, yeah. Might have been, yeah. I know. Yeah, because you did, the last con I did was Thought Bubble after that. Yeah. And I, I was quite heavily pregnant, and I don't think you were there. Mm -hmm. No, I've not done any cons for a long time now. No, that was the last one I did as well. Yeah. It wasn't with my wedding. That's sad. We have to fix that. I know, I know. So what we're doing today is a sort of quick catch up with you see what you've been doing through this uh year of lockdown what you've got coming out what you've got coming up i don't know where you want to start in that <laughs> um okay well it's been a long time coming but i'm on the the third series of um what's called king maker it's the series that I, I work with um in edgington on so that is the um it's pitched as an alien invasion of lord of the ring so the first trade with the first two series came out pretty much a year ago, um, just as the first lockdown was starting. Oh, I remember, didn't it cancel, you had to cancel your sign-in? Yeah, all the, oh. I, was, I had loads of sign-ins lined up. Um, and yeah, we had to cancel them. Well, it was going to be, my, so I would have had a signing in my local um, world apart. Um, never done one there before. Um, that would have been a very proud moment. And I had one lined up for the Forbidden Planet in London as well, which I've always wanted to do. Um, that's where all the big guys, the big names go to have their signings. And yeah, I had to cancel it. Great. Yeah, I know, I know. But it's it's something, I'm, it's like the, the book I'm so, so proud of. So I just want more people to get it. You know, it just came out, it just came out at the wrong time. We just got screwed with COVID and obviously like people have way more important things to do, but it just took them. It was like, like a, over a year of my work, you know, um, to the point where I even went back and redid about 13 pages before, just for the collection. Um, that doesn't sound like you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah. And yeah, even in the build up to it, I, I taught myself some animation. I did an animated trailer for it, which you'll, you'll be able to find on online somewhere. It's on the yeah. 2080 channel on YouTube. So I'm pretty made up with that. And um, so, yeah, I am on the third series right now. Um, what with this latest lockdown, um, it's taken a while to get to, a while to do. Um, because I've got two kids. Um, so I was having to do childcare for the first seven hours of every day. And then I'd start, and then me and my wife would swap over. That is my wife's workstation there. So we share a studio now. Um, and then, yeah, I'd start work about three o'clock and work till about one o'clock in the morning. Um, so that'd be our every day, you know. But now kids have gone back to, one of the kids have gone back to school. One is in nursery um, three days a week now. So I'm, I'm getting my time back now, you know. So I'm very happy about that. Um, so yeah, I'm, 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 I'm in the groove now, you know, it took a while to get my mojo back because that's what happens. It just always happens when you, you know, you lose your, your stride. Um, but now I'm, I'm well into coloring one of the episodes now. It looks lovely. I'm really Are proud. you coloring it as well? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I always do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. and yeah, yeah. Ever since first Kingmaker, I just call my own work now. Oh, I remember that, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. So that takes up extra time as well, though, doesn't it? So. Yeah, but I enjoy it. I really, really enjoy it. Um, mm -hmm. Just that during this this latest lockdown, I had an accident. With, I had to get a new computer, a new Mac. Um, um, and then that new Mac turned out to be rubbish. But luckily, I, I genuinely accidentally dropped it and it <laughs> smashed. 
um, after about two months. It was genuinely an accident, and the, and insurance gave me money to get a better Mac that actually <laughs> works properly. Um, but it just meant I had to learn an all new art program because my old Mac was so abysmally um, old that none of my art programs would work on it. So I had to teach myself all new tricks, but it's working out well then. Yeah. Oh, that must be quite interesting as well, though, like learning new things. It is, yeah, it is. But there's also the, the time, you know, because I'm already behind schedule on this, what with COVID and then having to learn all this new stuff on top yeah. of it. So, yeah, but I'm enjoying it. I can't wait to show it. I, I can't wait to show the boss and Ian Edgington this. You know, it's going to look lovely. Is um, part three going to be the last part or is there going to be another no, one? The um, I think we're going to have enough to make at least another trade. So there'll be a fourth series after this. And then after that, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that, the, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to having both collections on my shelf together. You know, it's always, it's, it's, I, I know I keep saying it, I'm really proud of it. I well, don't you should, should be proud stuff. of it though. I've seen some of your artwork from it and it's absolutely stunning. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Um, as w <laughs> um, what else am I working on? Um, well, my wife got me a box of 49 cream eggs for Easter. I've, <laughs> I've eaten 30, 30, I've actually had 39 in two weeks. I'm really proud of that as well. Um, it's not fair that you're that skinny. It's I'm not skinny. No, I'm you literally. I can see the camera there. I on purposely positioned it so you can't see just the man boobs from down below. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Seriously. Oh. When I've had the last ten or eleven, I'll I'll go on a diet. Yeah. <laughs> Diets yeah. don't work, and they're not good for you, so you shouldn't do that. Yeah. Mm -mm. Um, just that I'm, I'm finally coming back to conventions um, in November. So Thought Bubble's coming back in November. So I was down to do it last year, but obviously COVID and all that. Um, so it's just rolled over into this next one now. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing that. I'll be doing sketches and stuff and just sell it. I'm going to get a bunch of kingmakers and sell them and see how that goes. I get to make another, and I get to do another one of those big banner things. Oh, yeah, oh, cool. <laughs> artists, we love getting those banner things. Do um, you have to re reuse it, or has it got um, out of date artwork? No, not it? my own. I'm not going to reuse my old ones. Well, that's the thing. That's stupid. The last one I made, I had a, a, it was like a compilation of all my other work on it. This was like three years ago. Yeah. And stupidly, I put on an, I used to draw a series called The Quiller, sort of a Roman era thing like lots of I got through a lot of learning class you would have loved it. I, I, um, I read it but um uh you were replaced by that Welsh fella. Oh uh, <laughs> no I wasn't replaced I left I <laughs> left how dare you my nemesis <laughs> <at Goddard. laughs> that's why I brought it up I love it when you have these get my um, seconds. With Paddy. <laughs> yeah. um so yeah yeah um I, I stupidly put on uh, a favourite panel of mine, but it, it was very bloody. And you should, I, sh I shouldn't have put bloody, gory stuff on my panel, on my, you know, banner thing that's supposed to advertise me when at conventions when you got kids going by. So really, I, st I stopped using it straight away after one go. Oh, no. You know, but this one, I'm just gonna have Kingmaker stuff on it. Nice. And yeah, it's just a, it's just a vanity thing. That's what it is. Getting these banners. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think sometimes mm. you have to show off a little bit. Yeah. And also they attract the eye, don't they? For the 10 million people who go to Thought Bubble, you've got to catch their eye, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the necessary business expense, I think you'll find. I'm helping you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. definitely. Mm. Oh, that's exciting. So everything's going ahead. Is um, Thought Bubble in Harrogate again this year? Is, is yes, it in Harrogate? I've, yeah. I've never done that one before. So yeah. Should be you know, I have been at that convention centre, just to go off topic, but not for a Comic Con, for a knitting convention. You're so cool. I know. That's awesome. I know your knitting is brilliant. I mean, we <laughs> the stuff that you knitted for our kids, you know. Oh, 
I do. Um, anyway, it's a brilliant comment. The reason I bring it up is it's an absolutely amazing sort of purpose built convention hall. Yeah. Which, um, when you think about it, why haven't we been using these things before for Comic Cons? But yeah, so we should be good. I think yeah. we might try and come down if, if this for a day, especially if you're going to be there. We'll come down. Good stuff. Mm hmm. So what about next year? What have you got booked in for next year, work-wise? <laughs> I'm seriously thinking about next year right now. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Could be I anything. Know. I might get, well, I'm planning on getting rid of the man boobs by next year. Um, that's, uh, I want to, yeah. So I got this greatest showman figure. So I want to I wanna look like that. What, without a, you know, yeah, that's what you know, by the way, if you don't see that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I want to look like that next year. That would be nice. Oh, I bet his jeans rub together and get big holes in them all the time. You don't want to look like I'm used to tight jeans. I wear, I, I wear skinny jeans. I've worn skinny jeans for like three years now. That's the, the only jeans I wear now. I, I'm impressed because, like, I've got jammers on underneath the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I live in Jamas now. That's what I. Don't worry. I had nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> Most people during these times. So, is there anything else you can tell? So, is it, with your new um, your new Mac and things, has your process changed? Have you had to, like apart from the programs? Have, what else have you had to tweak to sort of make that work? Because you know how much I love the nerdy shit. Um, well, now I had to stop using Photoshop um, because I refuse to um, pay that crappy subscription thing that they do nowadays. Um, but everyone was recommending Clip Studio Paint. Um, it used to be Manga Studio. All right, um, yes. So that's the program I had to re learn to reuse. Oh, but I also, at the same time as getting a new Mac, my, because I had to get a new Mac, my own drawing monitor wouldn't work on it. It wasn't compatible. So I had to spend even more money getting a new drawing monitor, which is lovely, but yeah, it's just cost a lot of money. God, could you not drop that one? No, no, <laughs> no, it's, it's sexy as hell though. This one, this new one that I've got. Is it? Yeah. So do you just like, kind of draw directly on it? Literally just on the screen. Yeah. That's so I mean, cool. it's, You'll it's, have to it's, do one of your videos where you show us your process. I love well, I'll put lots on, the, um, on my Instagram. So yeah. you can see them on Lee Gallagher, find me on Instagram. Lee Gallagher Art. It's Lee, L-E-I-G-H. Yeah, uh, nice, nice yeah. short and snappy username there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I need more followers. Like, honestly, it's embarrassing the amount of followers I've gotten there. So get people to follow me on there. Everyone should follow Lee on Instagram. Yeah, do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I love Instagram for artists. So, because I think it's just so, um, it's so much more perfect um, social media for artists because it's just there, isn't it? You can just see what you're doing. Whereas yeah. with like Twitter and Facebook, I don't think it's as, and just look at my stuff, you yeah. know? And I really like that because, like, I think personal websites are, are kind of okay, but on Instagram, it's all there together. I'm a bit of an, I'm a bit of a, Fan of Instagram. No, I agree. I've I discovered so many artists. Yeah, I've discovered so many artists on Instagram. Yeah. There's like masses of inspiration and and feelings of jealousy as well. You know, because I'm one of those guys. I'm um, even though I'm, I'm comfortable with my art style now, where I'm at, um, I still want to find a simpler art style to use in the future. Uh -huh. um, just one that's quicker to do. I've always said this. Anytime an artist, a young up and coming artist, asks me for some advice, I always say, have an art style that you can do quickly. Uh -huh. Live by mistakes. But you're not you're not the only one that has it. Do you know? Have you heard of the um, artist and writer um, Jason Lutz? Jason who? Lutz. L U T E S. No. He did. Uh -huh. uh, huge comic called uh graphic novel not well it was a comic called berlin yeah and i loved it and he's got this like real stripped down cartoon style but i think it was he was like george r r martin with uh, game of thrones and how long the last part took to come out because yeah. he redraws and redraws and redraws until he gets 
So what looks like a really clean, simple line yeah. has taken a, probably a ridiculous long time to get there. So you, you do it how you do it, don't you? Uh, I care to the artist. I know. I know. Yeah. So fantastic. Right. Well, then, I think we've um, covered everything. So you've got, so we've got two trades of King Nick are out now. Is that right? No. One trade out First right one's now. out now. Mm -hmm. And part three will be coming in 2000 AD at some point. Yeah. Brilliant. Can't mm -hmm. wait to see it. Thank I you, think mate. you should do more dread as well because I like your dread. Maybe after this Kingmaker. It's going to be a while though. I usually end up doing the dread in between projects, but this time after Hookjaw, I jump straight onto the next Kingmaker. Yeah. But that's good. That's quite different, isn't it? Like Hookjaw. Oh, yeah. Like completely different kind of story, isn't it? Very that must different. be quite nice. Yeah, I mean, we, we definitely surprised some people with that hook jaw with our um, kind of reboot because we turned yeah. him into a mystical um, monster who can turn into a humanoid guy on land. So, I'm sorry to spoil it if anyone's not read it. Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> And that was with Alec, wasn't it? That was Alec Wally, yeah. Mm -hmm. And is that is that was that is that going to be traded or is that already? Yeah, there's only one series, so there's not enough to be traded yet. So if we ever come back and do another one, then yeah, it will be done. Mm. Of course, for that because then you can have all of the signings yeah. with your banner. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, thank you very much for talking to us and catching us up with what you've been doing. And That's hopefully, nice, I'll see you in November. Hopefully. And uh, everybody else can just pause it now and look at your beautiful face. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thanks, mate.